Imagine it's 1885 and Kansas only a decade after the Battle of Little Bighorn. A 10-year-old boy stands in the swaying cab of a mammoth Union Pacific locomotive as his father checks the brass steam gauge and nudges the throttle forward. Sparks cascade up to the stars and a plume of ashen smoke trails back to their home in Ellis. I'm Frank Rhodes, and that boy was my great-grandfather, Walter P. Chrysler, founder of the Chrysler Corporation. It is not difficult to understand a boy's fascination with trains. Tons of machined iron and steel, pistons and valves synchronized, fireboxes blazing to superheat water, steel wheels screeching and hitting their stride, all lurching, hissing, and rattling toward Conrad, North Platte, Ogden, and the future. This boy would later write, I learned through my hands, and he did first from sweeping the floors of the Union Pacific machine shops to hand making his own tools. He could time locomotive engine valves with uncanny precision and soon became the man they called when mechanical problems seemed impossible to solve. Self-taught, he studied Scientific American magazine like a religion and wrote weekly to its editors asking arcane and complex questions about all things mechanical. This unquenchable thirst for knowledge, threaded with an uncanny natural intuition about how machines worked, along with a keen business mind, created the perfect DNA to not only succeed in, but also to revolutionize the auto industry. Walter Chrysler's ascendancy to becoming one of the most influential American industrialists of the 20th century was born out of those years in Kansas and the raw American West. His youth required a simple calculus, work hard and innovate or fail, do things right or go hungry, be creative or forever wither in the cul-de-sac of American prairie life. For him, the massive locomotive engines became more than a metaphor. They were absorbed by his psyche, and to know how they worked, how precisely they were machined and timed, was to know himself. It is said that at 20, he built a working 26-inch steam engine out of a solid casting of iron for his father. He could time the valves of 10-wheel locomotives so quickly and precisely that it astonished his foreman. Hitching train rides from shop to shop along the Western Railway system, Walter P. Chrysler quickly earned a reputation as the go-to guy when problems seemed insolvable. Along the way, he developed attributes and values that to this day the Chrysler Group emulates, vision, a tenacity to achieve, and a sharp business acumen threaded with human insight. In a way, he collected people. He evaluated skill sets in others and kept in mind the best of those as assets to be used at a later date sometimes years. His charisma and care for others attracted quick and enduring loyalties. At 35, the locomotive machinist discovered the hypnotic allure of the automobile while attending a 1908 Chicago car show. Borrowing heavily against his own future, he purchased a locomobile, shipped it back to Old Wine, Iowa, and dismantled and rebuilt it eight times before ever driving it. As parts to the new machine lay scattered across newspapers on his barn floor, imagine him seeing a kind of divination of his future. It would only be several years later that he would be hired by the Buick Company to manage their production systems and enter an incubation period where he learned the business of manufacturing automobiles. He adapted quickly to the new environment. He noted and corrected its flaws and amplified its successes while moving quickly to streamline production techniques. In Flint, Michigan, he revealed another characteristic, to stand up for his employees. The stage was set. The constellation of his work experience and innate genius appeared suddenly and bright over the horizon of the automotive industry. 
With his three best engineers, inventors in their own right, he built a machine that would quickly become an emblem of the Chrysler Corporation's direction, innovation, style, and power embodied in the gleaming, high compression, smooth riding, and dependable Chrysler 6. An automobile and a company was born. Thank you.